a dead laser on a PS2. It's actually very easy to fix. All you need is isopropyl alcohol, Q-tips, and a screwdriver. So that's going to be the first half of this video is that's what we're going to be fixing. My name's Paul with Retro Gaming Arts. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out all our other videos. And if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to blast it with some air because it's a little dirty before we take it apart. And as a bonus fix, what we're going to be doing is you see how this tray is kind of whack. We're going to fix it with some white lithium grease and I'll show you how in the second half of this video, like a full refurbish in addition to just fixing the dead laser. So the first thing is to turn it off and to take it apart. Now on this particular model of the PS2, there's 10 screws, but not all models have 10. Most models will just have six right there. And each one, I'm just going to blow through this, you have to take off the little rubber feet and then underneath the little feet is the screws and a standard Phillips head will take them all out. Different PS2s have different length screws. Now this particular unit only has two long screws and the rest are short. That's not the case with the majority PS2s. Majority of them have four long screws and you'll be able to figure that out which one goes back where because a long screw can only go in a long screw's hole. So now that we're, we got it all done, we're taking it apart, a lot of them, they'll all look a little different on the inside. Some of them will have a ribbon cable connecting to the buttons, and some of them will have four screws to take apart the lens cover. This one only has two. Those other two screws, that's generally in the area that they'll be, usually, depending on your model. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these two screws out, and that's gonna expose the whole CD tray and the laser assembly. Now, like I said, yours won't it may not look exactly like this, but it'll be very, very similar. So now it's time to bust out the isopropyl alcohol and the Q-tips because we're going to clean the lens. And it's very, very gentle. And like this is a this is a big common problem, but you got to be very gentle. And most of the time, if you're not reading a disc, this is all you'll need to do. Very, very easy, very simple. Anyone can do this with household utilities. But even though we blew it, I just want to, you know, also get it freshed up. You can see how much dirt is in this thing, even though I blew it out in the beginning. So it's very important to make sure your consoles are clean because the whole reason why this, this isn't reading discs, because this dirt that got inside of this made its way on top of the laser, preventing the laser from being able to read the information on the disc. So not only by cleaning the, the lens, you also got to clean the rest of the dirt around the PS2 so it doesn't happen again on you. So we're going to be we're going to power it on. Anytime you put the power into something that's on, don't touch anything metal. It will electrocute you, so be very careful when doing this. And also you'll notice I covered the lens with my hand. You don't want to look into the lens because it's bad for you. And um, right here this is an additional fix where this little knob will raise the lens up and down and that's like a worst case scenario if cleaning it didn't work that's another option you can do but before you do that you should also put in a ps1 disc and then a ps2 disc and then a dvd to reset the laser and just circulate the different discs so now we're going to work on the tray and we're going to take out the screws that you saw earlier where the screws were and then I want to show you this little piece of dirt. You see how there's that little dirt up in there? That's part of the reason why it comes out slow is because there's a metal track that this hinge slides on and if there's dirt on it, it doesn't move flu fluidly. So you got to put a little bit of lithium grease onto that track. But first, you got to clean it all up. Just look how dirty it is. All these little gears, all the dirt, the dirt is what gets inside there and makes it not come out smoothly and then also gets onto the lens. So, so, so far I've covered three separate ways to fix the lens. The first one and the, the most common one is to just clean it. And then like here are the screws to take this apart because we're going to clean those gears. So you clean the lens, then you also clean the console. And then after you do that a good way, the next thing you should do is to cycle the discs back and forth. So put in a, a PS1 game and then a PS2 game and then do it back and forth. If it's not reading, just keep swapping the discs, maybe for 15 minutes to a half hour, whatever. And then it'll eventually reset the laser and recalibrate it to 
reformat the disc. It's just a little trick. And then the third thing will be to turn that dial that I showed you that's up there above the laser right there, is to turn that dial. Um, that's your worst case scenario, the last thing you should try, because if you do it too much, it will screw it up. And if you do it, too, if you underdo it, it raises where the lens is to the disc. It measures the distance of how far. So now that we've taken these gears out for the tray assembly, we're putting them back in, making sure they move smooth. You can add a little bit of lithium grease on these gears. It will not hurt. Lithium grease is uh, specifically designed for plastics and metals, and it does not collect dust. It's amazing. So we're gonna also put some on the CD track right here because this was very dirty. In just a little bit, that's all you really need. And then as the track goes up and down, it'll lubricate it with the grease. So now we're also just reassembling this little rubber band. It works best if you put it on one of the two sides first and then swivel it over to the other and put it on. So now that's in place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it with a game and we're just gonna cover it up and then see how it works and we're gonna see if this works. All right, so now we're gonna connect the AV and as you, and it popped on as soon as we plugged in the AV on that other, on the test monitor that's hooked up to Soul Calibur. So it all worked. But let's see if the disc tray comes out fluid and smooth. And sometimes you can apply the lithium grease and it won't come out, it won't, because it's not lubricated enough yet. You have to keep moving it. But before we can do any of that, we have to clean it up a little bit more and then put the tray in. See how dirty this whole thing is? I didn't want to clean it too much as I was making the video. Oh, and it looks like uh, I'm adjusting it one little click. I think that was just to demonstrate to you guys. I, it looked like I put it back to factory, especially because we already had it working. And now we're just reassembling it. And you see on the disc tray how or on the lens assembly, how it moves up and down where we put the lithium grease, it's moved because it passed through it and then it used it to lubricate. Just to, you know, increase the longevity. And then I don't want to clean too, too much into this console for the video because the video would be mostly me cleaning it. But pretty much if you see dust, just wipe it off no matter where it is get as much out of there as you can as possible. And that, that goes for any console and every console. It's very important. So now we're just putting it all back. And one of those white little gears at the bottom, there's a track in the bottom of the disc tray, and that's what makes it go in and out. So if you accidentally don't get it in the right track, your disc tray won't work. I got it in the right track, but it ended up, um, this is exactly what I'm talking about. See this little point right on this white piece right there, how it pops up like that? That little nib needs to be in line with the CD tray itself. If it's not, it won't work. Man, look how dirty that is. Gotta clean that. And you see how I'm like lining it up very carefully as I put it back in and making sure that that white little nib is in line with the line underneath the tray itself. Now sometimes if you ever yanked one of these things out or pushed it in, it can break the little plastic track on the bottom of the disc tray and then it won't open. So if you have a PS2 that won't open, check the bottom of your disc tray to see if it's intact. So now we're just screwing it back in, turning it on, not touching any metal, covering up the, the radiation laser lens, whatever, don't want to look at that. And we're just gonna pump it in and out a bunch of times, see how fluid and nice it's smooth. Fluid and nice it's smooth. That's what we're looking for. And it goes out pretty, moving pretty nice. A little lithium grease all over the place did the trick. I don't think, I didn't show it, but I lithium greased the bottom of the tracks and all those little gears that we took apart. And now we're just putting it back together. So, any questions about PS2 fixing, just leave them in the comments. Just comment to me if you have any questions. Hit me up on Facebook. 
and and just ask me if you have any questions about doing this or if you want to do this or if you come into an area. Thanks for checking out all our other videos and uh, thank you very much. My name's Paul.